In this video, I'm going to teach you how to mask the domain of your membership site. It's very simple, and it just takes a few simple steps to uh, complete. First things first, you'll need to log into either your domain registrar or your hosting company and look for something called your DNS zone file editor. If you need help with this, you can reach out to your domain support or your hosting support and tell them what you're trying to do. You are trying to mask the domain by changing your A host record. That is what you want them to tell them uh, what you're trying to do. So with that said, let me show you how to do it with GoDaddy. I'm logged in. Here's the domain that I'm going to be masking. I'll need to click on DNS zone file. Here are my A host records. That is what we're looking for is your A host records. And we're going to need to edit and create some. Now, what we'll need for this is we'll need an IP address. This IP address can be found on the knowledge base article that is linked in value add-on. So copy that IP address, go back to uh, your DNS zone file editor, and we're going to edit the A or the at symbol A host record. Okay, that is for your root domain. Click on edit record, and all we're going to have to do is paste in this new IP address and replace the old one. Okay, we're going to hit save changes. So that's done. However, there's one more step we need to do. We also need to mask our mobile site URL. So for that, we're going to actually add a record. And we are going to call this an A host record. That is the one that we need to do. The host is going to be M, and it's going to point to that same IP address. You must mask uh, the M version of your site for your mobile theme to be activated in value add-on. If you do not complete this step, your mobile theme will not be activated and your site will not be mobile responsive. So we're going to go ahead and hit finish and we're going to hit save. So now what we have is we have two A host records. We have one for the root URL and we have one for the m dot root URL, which in this case is monthly membership income. Now we're pretty much done. However, there's one last step. Now that we've completed uh, creating these records or editing these records, we need to go back to our value add on site owner control panel. And here I am. I'm in the URL section and we need to replace or uh, put our custom domain in this box right here. So for this example, it's going to be monthly membership income.com. Now you of course would replace this URL with the URL that you just masked. And once you hit save, your site is going to be activated. Now to test this out, all you have to do is type in the URL, uh, the custom URL in your, in your browser and hit enter. And it should take you to your membership site completely masked. Now to test out the mobile version, just put a m dot before your custom domain name and hit enter. This should also take you to your site. So if you've completed these uh, steps and you verified it, then you are good to go. Now, I will give you fair warning. Sometimes it takes a few hours to propagate these A host records. So if it doesn't uh, verify right away, then uh, you might need to recheck in a few hours. If when you tried to verify, um, it actually redirects you to valueaddon.com, that means something is misconfigured. Usually it means that you did not put the custom domain name in your URL settings, which is right here. Okay, so if you forget to put your custom URL in this box, then uh, when you try to go to your custom domain name, it will redirect you to valueaddon.com, which just means you misconfigured it and you need, to, you need to go back and follow through with the rest of the steps. So that is how you customize your domain name using the root URL using uh, this video. Thank you.